All right, I think we are about ready to begin. I want to say good morning and good afternoon to everyone on the East Coast. We have another great turnout for the latest webinar in the Nimble Lecture Series, your S4 HANA Cloud Test Drive. I'm Jake Eisbart, part of the Nimble Marketing Team. A little bit about us at Nimble. Uh, we are SAP technologists and SAP uh, ecosystem thought leaders delivering SAP projects, both technical and functional, while our Denver-based SAP Managed Services supports both Fortune 1000 and Mid-Market 24-7 across 20-plus skill sets. Here's a, uh, a list of the services uh, that we offer. Obviously, today we will be talking about S4 HANA Cloud. Uh, before we get started, I want to have just a couple housekeeping items. Uh, we want to be able to answer as many questions as possible. So if you take a look at the chat box or the chat bubble in the bottom uh, left-hand corner of your screen, it should be, uh, feel free to type in any question, and our speaker, Michael, uh, will answer them at the end of the presentation. In addition, everyone will be receiving a fully edited copy of the presentation. So if you miss a slide um, or have to uh, uh, jump out for a second, don't worry about it. You'll be getting a fully edited copy of this presentation. So let's move on and talk a little bit about Nimble and S4 HANA Cloud before we begin. Um, Nimble, uh, we are an SAP Lighthouse partner, which means that we've implemented S4 HANA Cloud ourselves here at Nimble. We did the S4 HANA Cloud implementation for uh, a number of reasons. You'll see them on the screen. The most significant was to enhance our own cloud capabilities. But furthermore to that, it was also so that we could learn firsthand ourselves every aspect of S4 HANA Cloud and the implementation to further serve our customers. Uh, you saw some of the um, other services that we offer. Uh, we also have a focus, among other things, on S4 HANA on-prem. Uh, this year we've done uh, three uh, S4 HANA on-prem implementations. And uh, we've also um, upped our experience in S4, uh, excuse me, in SAP Cloud Platform, um, which helps extend uh, S4 HANA Cloud, among other things. We have presentations coming up uh, later this month with webinars and blogs. So if you'd like any more information about our S4 HANA Cloud, excuse me, our SAP Cloud Platform practice, just type uh, platform into the uh, chat box, and we'll give you that, uh, that information. Um, all right, so let's get it started, and a little bit about our speaker. Our speaker today is Michael Jolton. Uh, he is co-author of SAP Press's S4 HANA Cloud Use Cases, Functionality, and Extensibility. Uh, that book was published and came out at TechEd this year. Um, Michael Jolton is Vice President of Service Delivery and leader of our uh, S4 HANA Cloud practice. Uh, he is also a frequent blogger and speaker at SAP conferences. I mentioned TechEd across the country, as well as our SAP uh, traveling campus. And just to get a lay of the land, we're going to start with just a couple poll questions for everybody. The first is, are you currently considering uh, S4 HANA Cloud? And we'll let, give a little bit of time for people to respond. Looks like it's... Uh, just about 50-50 across the board. A couple more seconds on that. And we'll move on to the next, which is a follow-up. What is your current S4 HANA Cloud schedule? Are you looking to implement with, uh, within three to six months, six to 12 months, uh, 12 to 18 months, or 18 to 24 months? And once again, we'll give people a little bit of time to fill that out. Looks like most people are looking around the 18 to 24 month. All right. And finally, what SAP software are you currently using? Concur, ERP, Success Factors, Hybris, Ariba, Other, or None. Um, now, you can only click one on this, but if you uh, are using other ones and would like to type that into the chat box, feel free. We have a lot of people on uh, clicking on ERP. A couple more seconds on that. All right, let's get it started. So I'm going to hand over your S4 HANA Cloud test drive to our speaker today, Michael Jolton. Okay, thank you, Jake. Uh, let's see. Can advance here. Um, so basically what I want to do today is show you how to take advantage of the SAP free trial 
for S4 HANA Cloud and, uh, and, and maybe some creative ways to use that trial beyond just clicking around in it. Um, so uh, SAP does offer a free trial of SAP S4 HANA Cloud. And uh, this, uh, this trial version is available. It's available on a 14-day basis. Um, what you'll see as we go through this, after that 14 days, you can re-up your trial um, and, uh, and, and go back in. So any uh, data that you put in or changes that you make will be gone, um, but uh, you can always uh, go back into the trial. Uh, the other point I'll make about this trial is uh, this is not, uh, does not contain the entire S4 HANA uh, uh, functionality, but it does contain glimpses of enough of the functionality throughout the suite uh, that you can uh, certainly get a good uh, view of its uh, uh, capabilities as well as certainly get some experience with the Fiori look and feel and, uh, and some of the power of the HANA database behind it. So to get started, uh, step one is, uh, is to go to the SAP website for accessing the trial, which is www.sap.com slash products slash S4 HANA dash ERP slash cloud.html. So that's on your screen right now, and, and of course that will be in the, the deck that uh, uh, I believe we'll send out uh, for attendees um, after if needed. So once you, once you uh, go there, right, you'll, you'll, uh, you'll see this, uh, this page, and then let me advance this to the next. And, uh, and then you'll uh, be able to uh, click on Start Your Free Trial Now. All right, and just showing you what the uh, the screens look like, so um, you'll uh, you'll be familiar when you get there. So when you click on starting your free trial, if you're doing this the first time, you're going to complete a registration form. As you go through that form, you set your password. Um, make sure you remember your password. You will need it later, um, and uh, and I'll show you how that uh, that can also be used and where you'll need it for logging into the, uh, if you want to put this on your mobile device. All right, so once you've completed your registration, you'll get a thank you uh, for registering from SAP. And then uh, uh, SAP will send you a confirmation email to finalize your registration. So, uh, so you'll go ahead and you'll click on that uh, uh, highlighted uh, click here um, phrase to uh, activate your account, and then you should get a, uh, an activation successful uh, message box, which you see here on the right, and then uh, you go ahead and click on the continue button. Um, if you've already signed up, try again. In other words, uh, as I talked about, um, if you've already done this once and there's a, 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 you're concerned that you're uh, you want to be able to go back in three or four weeks later, um, don't fear, you can re-sign up as often as you like, okay? Um, so what you'll see when you do the sign up is you'll get this screen, which gives you the option to try again. So you'll click on the try again button, and, uh, and that will take you forward. Um, from there, um, whether registering or doing it again, uh, you'll get the terms and conditions. Um, if you're having trouble sleeping, I recommend reading through these. Otherwise, of course, we all uh, normally just go ahead and click on the I Accept button on the bottom right. And then what you're going to get is a screen with the, the URL, right? And if we look, we see the application URL uh, here highlighted in blue. And <clears throat> the, uh, uh, that, that will get you to, to the trial site. You will also get an email um, with the, a link to, uh, to go to the trial site as well. So either click on that application URL, or as I said, you'll get this email. <clears throat> Excuse me. A uh, couple things when you get your email. Make use, make note rather, of your user ID. Okay, and uh, th the reason for that will be apparent later on as we talk about uh, implementing uh, or setting up a mobile environment, but it will also help 
uh, to speed through your, your login process. So once you make note of your user ID, you've already made note of your password, you can go ahead then and uh, click on the link to, uh, to start the trial. When you get to the trial, this is the page you're going to see, uh, a, a welcome site. Um, and it, uh, it talks about guided tours, a learning quarter, a media corner, and FAQs. So we'll talk about the learning quarter and uh, uh, meeting corner and FAQs uh, briefly because I think those are some excellent tools that are available. But, um, but we'll first start with the guided tours. <clears throat> so there is also a See How It Works video which you can use to um, uh, basically is going to take you through more or less what this uh, webinar is doing. Um, but uh, at, at the same time, so you don't need to watch that video if you don't want to, but you see that link uh, in blue just under the Welcome to Your SAP Cloud Trial. Uh, so you could click on that and watch that video if, you, if you'd like. Um, from there you'll see there's project management, finance, and purchasing, and several different functional roles or functional areas that have um, uh, these guided tours in them. And, and we'll walk through one uh, as, uh, just so, so that you can see what, what it looks like and what to expect. So I'm going to go in under uh, Finance and use the Create Promises and Disputes tour. All right, so this would be for an accounts receivable person or uh, someone in that department, um, and uh, they're either going to create a promise to pay or a dispute over an uh, in, in invoice, right? So once I click on the trial, it's going to bring me to this first, uh, this first page, which is the landing page uh, or the launch pad for uh, Fiori, right? And this is where um, all S4 HANA Cloud apps begin. And each of these uh, white tiles, uh, little square boxes, um, it's referred to as a tile, and uh, you will learn that you use those to launch into a specific application. Um, also worth mentioning up at the top here is this banner uh, where we see on the top left, trial center, project management, accounts payable, accounts receivable. Those hold groupings of applications or groupings of tiles, um, and you can click through those once we, uh, once we actually exit the tour. But, before we exit the tour, my advice is always, uh, as I say, keep your arms and legs inside the bus at all times. I think what's wise, the first time through, pick any one of the guided tours and stay with that tour. So um, what you'll see, rather than clicking on any of the tiles here, you'll get this uh, gray box with the green header to start your guided tour. right? And there's a little next button, and so you would click on that to, to move on. So we'll go ahead and pretend we've clicked on that. Um, and, uh, and the first thing you'll see here, on the left I've got a screenshot where the, um, this little green box is kind of in the way. It, it tells me to, uh, to display uh, customer balances, right? It wants me to click on that tile, but I can't really see what that tile is. So I do have the option to grab the box um, by the green banner and just uh, drag it over to the right. So now I can actually see, oh, okay, this is what the display customer balance uh, tile looks like, right? So if the instruction is in boxes in the way, move it. Um, don't close it, though, because closing it will take you out of the uh, guided tour. And at this point, we don't want to do that at least the first time through. So. From there, just you'll follow the directions on the tour, and it'll take you through, and you'll either click next in the box, or it'll ask you to um, uh, put some data into one of the uh, one of the fields, or click on a on a link in the screen. Uh, that uh, that type of interactive uh, capability. When you're done, you may simply uh, click on the uh, X in the um, in the box, the, uh, the tour guide, right? Um, or you can click on the home button, the little house next to SAP in the top left. 
and that will actually that will close the tour and take you back to the landing page, right? And again, now at this point, you are free to click around within the application, see where it goes, um, look at uh, tiles like this one down here on the uh, overdue receivables at 78.55%. And you can see, wait a second, that's kind of a unique tile. It's got a number on it. Um, and, uh, you know, it'll drill into, maybe that'll drill to a, uh, a, a graphic report um, and or an application. So it gives you the ability to, to go through that. So the other thing you see here is in this trial center grouping, we've got the introduction, the guided tours, and trial feedback. Um, I'm sure SAP would uh, certainly appreciate any trial feedback as you go through it. So to provide that feedback, you'd click on that tile there. Um, and, uh, and of course, again, below that, you've got your application tiles. Um, you could click on any of these items on the banner to, uh, to show a more limited view of the tiles um, for that particular function. And again, uh, I do want to make sure you all know this is a very limited view. This is not the comprehensive application. This is just a taste. Uh, so I, I want to now go into some of the additional resources beyond just clicking through the trial that are available to you. So um, uh, the first one I want to point out is the My Learning application. Um, if you look on that, uh, that launch pad, that, that landing page, and you scroll to the bottom uh, in this, uh, this top left uh, screenshot I've got here, you'll see that there's a tile called My Learning. Excellent resource here to go to. Um, so if you click on that, you'll get uh, access to the My Learning um, page here. And what that's going to provide you is access to any number of videos right now. I think there's uh, 57 different uh, videos that are recorded that are training videos that would show someone how to process an accounts receivable or payable or um, any number of, of transactions, right? And so um, you would, uh, in this case, I went ahead and uh, uh, clicked on accelerated customer returns. And so if I look within that, now I'm on the, the bottom right uh, screenshot here, I see that I have multiple videos, and I also have a process overview, uh, uh, the center link um, right under the title Accelerated Customer Returns. So that would take me to a process overview of what the uh, Accelerated Customer Return looks like. Um, and from there, I've got, um, I've got all sorts of videos uh, of, of which I could open one up and take a view through and, and run through. I also have the ability, there's a, uh, uh, a link to the right of the uh, play button for each video, which would give me a, uh, a printable script uh, or a printable view of that video so I could take notes on it um, or uh, you know, show other, other folks whatever, how you want to do it. But great idea to print it out. You can take notes on it as you're going through the video to uh, come up with either questions that you would have or, uh, or comments. So that's a little bit about the My Learning app. Again, you access that from that launch pad, right? And uh, it's at the uh, very bottom, there's a tile there called My Learning. So the additional resources um, go back to that trial center, but the question is, well, how do I get to that trial center? Well, of course, you have that link from your email that you could save and use to go back to that. Or if you're in uh, the, the home page or the trial center view, um, you will see a guided tours tile. And this has, I think, the, uh, the 17 different links that are available. That's the number that it lists there. But anyway, if you click on guided tours, it's going to bring you back to that guided tour homepage that we saw at the very beginning. From here, uh, you can see, if you do want to go back to the guided tours, you just click on guided tours or any one of the guided tours um, uh, that we, we talked about before. 
But now we're going to go ahead and look at these other tools. So learning uh, corner, media corner, and FAQ. If you go to the learning corner, that's going to give you access to uh, several different uh, resources. Certainly, you can see there's the View My uh, View the My Learning app, which is uh, listed on there, which we were already in and uh, and going through. Um, but there are other uh, uh, other videos and uh, uh, opportunities to learn as well. Uh, the first there listed is working with the launch pad. So again, kind of getting uh, users familiar with that look and feel. Um, the, uh, as, as we get to the mobile piece in this a little bit later, you'll see why that launch pad design is why it is. Um, it, it really allows the same look and feel to go from PC to, uh, to phone to uh, uh, pad, uh, iPad, or, or whatever you have. Um, there's also training on working with apps and training on uh, configuration and user management. And then, of course, a link uh, to go to the My Learning app we talked about and then the SAP Help Portal, which uh, you can go in and, and do searches and, and find what you need. Also, uh, there's links here to relevant open SAP courses. Open SAP is a uh, fantastic learning platform um, to allow you to do additional training um, and, and uh, uh, go, go through training courses that are online, self-paced that you can go through. So you can do a deep dive on S4 HANA. Um, you can look at different use cases for S4 HANA, uh, learn about implementation, um, understand how uh, S4 HANA works with success factors, and, and more. These are uh, the courses that, that are listed here, but as you get into Open SAP, you'll, you, you'll see that there are many, many more courses to, uh, to take advantage of. So that's a little bit about what's in the learning corner. If you go to the media corner, these are going to be SAP videos uh, that are um, generally speaking, YouTube-type videos. You can find them on YouTube, or you can access them here. Um, and uh, uh, you can see Sven Denikin talking about the, the latest release, um, talking about um, uh, some of the other topics like co-innovation, um, some of the changes in, uh, you know, in, in uh, functionality like in, in finance and, uh, and so forth. Also, uh, what's not here, but if you go out to YouTube and you start to, uh, to do searches on S4 HANA Cloud, you will find many more videos uh, available to, uh, to learn about the product or about specific functionality within the product, um, uh, configuration, and more. Uh, last but not least here in terms of the additional resources or frequently asked questions, so uh, you know, a, a great tool to, uh, to come to, uh, again, if you've got specific, uh, you know, if you just want to learn about things, see what, what FAQs are out there. Um, also in here is access to give feedback on the trial, which is the same as if you click on the, uh, the tile that I talked about uh, earlier. So uh, you've got the ability, if you're having issues, to uh, contact SAP by email. There's a link for that. And then, of course, the link, as I talked about, for providing feedback. So those are some of the, um, the additional resources that are available. Um, one thing that's not in the trial, and so I, I, you know, I kind of I say for, for overachievers here, um, people who want to see, well, what does this look like on a mobile device? Um, there's, there isn't uh, instructions for this in the, uh, in the trial um, that I've seen. So this is one piece that's, that I think is fairly, uh, uh, to me, fairly interesting and, and fun to do. Um, so I've taken some screenshots from my iPhone, um, and, uh, and I want to kind of walk you through what setting, up, uh, what setting this up on your iPhone would look like. Um, obviously, you can do it on a... Uh, uh, Samsung or other iPhone or other phone uh, if you want. Um, but as you can see, this is my, my iPhone. If you look in the screenshot one, uh, the top right corner. Um, and what I'm doing here first is 
going to the App Store, and I'm going to download the SAP Fiori Client app. So if we look at uh, the, the second screenshot or the one in the middle here, we see uh, this SAP Fiori client. I've got the little cloud to the right because uh, you know, I've clearly downloaded this before. Um, but uh, uh, for, uh, for the demo here today, I went ahead and deleted it off my app, and uh, I'm re-adding it. Okay? Once I re-add it, uh, I get uh, this third screenshot here on the far right. Um, which um, allows me to either log into the Fiori client or go in demo mode. Um, demo mode is a fantastic tool to see what the Fiori client capabilities are within your, uh, within your mobile device. Um, but in this case, we're actually going to go ahead and we're going to log in based on our credentials uh, that we established uh, earlier on. So we would click on the login button there. Now, here is where we're going to enter in uh, the URL for the, uh, for the trial, all right? Um, if you log into the trial today, I believe it will come up with this uh, URL, this HTTPS colon whack whack my30054.s4hana.ondemand.com. What you'll want to do once you've logged into your trial version, just make sure that that URL is the same. The, uh, what would change on that would be the number. It might not be uh, 300054. It might be 3001 something something, or you know, it could change. Um, when I did these screenshots, it was um, my 30194. As you can see, if you look on the uh, um, on the URL line actually within the screenshots. The, uh, that was, um, uh, this was done a few weeks ago. Since then, 1711 rolled out, and I think they, they uh, changed, made some changes um, and or refreshed the uh, demo environment. So it changed to 054. And so uh, just make note of that if you have any issues logging into your mobile client. In any case, you'll put in the URL. Uh, don't forget to make sure you put in the HTTPS colon slash slash. Otherwise, it, it won't uh, allow you to go forward. So uh, from there, we would hit OK. And now we're going to be putting in our credentials from the initial trial setup. So remember your user password, uh, your username, and your user password. That will go, if we're looking on the far left screenshot, um, that will go here. Uh, so first, I'm sorry, uh, on the left screenshot, what we've got here is you'll have a passcode for your Fiori client, all right? And this is separate from your trial password. Um, this is just to open up your, your Fiori client. You can create whatever password you want to create. Um, uh, what I did, since I've, I've got a, an iPhone, I think it's a 6, um, is I went ahead and enabled unlock with fingerprint, uh, which makes life uh, a little bit easier when I start up, and I hit OK. And now that's going to take me to my SAP trial uh, page where I would put in uh, whatever my user ID is from the setup, right, from your email, and then uh, whatever password that you set up. And then you can uh, click log on. And what you will get then is uh, this, this next screen is our UI5 uh, Fiori mobile enabled uh, view of the, uh, of the uh, trial, right? And so I can see, remember that overdue receivables tile I talked about earlier that had the 78.55% same thing here. So it's the same application. Now I'm just viewing it from my mobile device. So um, a couple of, of uh, words ab about this really quick is um, first that it is uh, not every app um, is mobile enabled. Some, if, if it's not a UI5 Fiori application um, within SAP S4 HANA Cloud, uh, there still is some SAP GUI applications, uh, applications that are not yet migrated over to uh, Fiori UI5. 
they're coming. They're coming as quickly as SAP can get them out. But don't be shocked if you're looking for an app that you were using in the trial and it's not there. Uh, the other thing is, again, remember, this is a limited view of all the apps that are available. So not every app is, is uh, that you would get should you uh, license S4 HANA Cloud uh, is going to be available. Um, but, uh, but the apps that are there, this is a great way to go in and see, oh, okay, now I see how that uh, user experience translates from the PC to the phone. And, uh, and that's it for, uh, for my overview of the trial. Jake, if you want to take us to questions. Absolutely. Before we get to questions, we have a couple of them. Uh, we just want to um, finish with a couple poll questions. Uh, would you consider your business process, would you consider it highly customized with some customizations, no customizations, or you're not sure? And as always, we'll let people fill this out. We see that it's pretty split down the middle between highly and some customizations. And then finally, would you be interested in, in a more in-depth demo of S4 HANA Cloud? Uh, we purposely made this webinar shorter than our regular webinars just to show you how uh, easy it is to use the 14-day trial. In general, uh, we run around 60 minutes. This one ran around half an hour. But again, that's to show you how easy it is to use. And this was to be a uh, supplemental, um, excuse me, a supplement to, uh, to allowing you to use the 14-day trial. And we would hope that you uh, share that with any of your colleagues who are looking to use this as well. Again, everybody will be receiving an edited copy of this to use. And I'll let Mike speak a little bit about uh, the book that we had. Thank you, Jake. Uh, just a shameless uh, uh, promotion here. But we put out this book on S4 HANA Cloud to provide a, a much uh, deeper dive into the functionality that's available, but it doesn't go into complete detail on each functional area. The idea is to give you a good overview of what the tool has available within it and uh, show you how you can start to see where the product is going. This product changes every three months. It, there are more and more functionality comes out um, every three months. And so uh, the challenge of putting a book together was do we, uh, you know, do we draw a line in the sand and say this is what it is? And our idea was, no, let's, let's show the structure of the tool. Let's go into uh, detail on uh, enough functionality that people can see um, how the tool works and some of the base functionality that's, that's available, and then be able to learn how to, uh, how to follow it along and see what's changing. I saw you know, in the earlier um, uh, survey questions, a lot of people are looking 12 months plus out. This tool will be much more advanced in 12 months even than it is today. Um, and so learning how to stay with it, I think you'll find with this book. So um, if you use the, uh, the code S4 Cloud 15, uh, that uh, should provide a 15% uh, discount on the book as well. And you see the, uh, uh, the uh, URL there, uh, sap-press.com slash 4498 to uh, be able to order the book online. All right, great. So let's get to the questions. We have a number of uh, questions. Uh, the first one is from, um, we'll jump to Rob. Uh, he says, is there any opportunity to connect to multiple systems in the mobile client? Uh, examples being uh, development, testing, or production environment. So um, what we're connecting to on the mobile here is the trial environment. Um, and uh, S4 HANA Cloud is maybe a little bit, it, it's similar and yet different in uh, when you talk about environments. Um, when you license S4 HANA Cloud, you get what's called a starter environment. And that environment uh, is actually preloaded with uh, test data so that you can go through what's called the fit to standard process, which is um, basically you sit with your uh, expert users 
and you go through, all right, how do we process a receivable today? What does that workflow look like? We're going to show you exactly how that goes and um, uh, in the system, and that's what's in that starter environment. Um, from there, you're gathering uh, uh, requirements and uh, all the, uh, the data that you're going to need to, uh, to set up your master data and your configuration. Um, and then that starter environment becomes a throwaway and you get a queue or quality environment. That's the environment you're going to use to basically set up your system, uh, put in the master data to move forward, uh, all your uh, configurations uh, to move forward. From, uh, from there, uh, you migrate uh, to a P or production environment. So going forward, you'll always have a Q environment and a P environment. Um, you can access either one of those from a mobile device. Again, it's based on that URL. What I showed you today is the URL to the trial environment. So you can connect to multiple systems um, in, in the client based on that URL that you put in, um, but uh, because of the way it's set up, what my experience is is that you can only connect to one at a time. Um, and uh, if you wanted to, what I've had to do is uh, remove the Fiori client, re-add it, and then connect to the, uh, the different environment. All right, great. Karen, uh, Karen had a question. I'm not sure whether or not uh, you, you may have covered this. Um, she asked, is any of the information saved after the 14-day trial? No. So that's the whole, the whole idea is it's not a living environment that you could, you know, begin to use and show people and, and do demos with. And that's what it, it's really, uh, it, it's meant to go in and explore and see the tool. But after that 14 days, any data that you put in will be gone. All right. Uh, Sean had a question. Um, you mentioned the self-implementation before. What did that timeline look like? I guess they're talking about our own nimble implementation. Oh, sure. Uh, implementations are obviously going to vary by functionality and by complexity, um, by number of integrations by uh, the, the uh, data migration, um, if you're going to have any extensions, or if you're going to go ahead and go with a um, agile type uh, implementation and, and uh, uh, implement functionality in over time. Um, we did just core finance when we did our implementation, and it was a, uh, a very rapid uh, six-week implementation. Um, I think uh, we did do it over eight weeks in total um, just because uh, uh, Sapphire came in the middle there. And we had some, some things that slowed us uh, in, that, uh, in that process, but a very rapid implementation for us because it was just core financials. And um, as we talk to customers that have much more functionality, so they're doing um, uh, orders uh, and or manufacturing and procurement, those implementations can take anywhere between 12 to 16 weeks. Um, and uh, we generally say 16 weeks uh, on those if you're, you're just trying to find a, a bread box type number. Uh, clearly it also depends on the number of um, analysts you have or consultants you have, if you will, doing the, uh, uh, the setup. And it also depends on the availability of your business users um, to be a part of that fit to standard process as well as part of the user acceptance testing process. Great. And, and, uh, and I think this is probably a follow-up question to Sean's. Raj asked, um, what level of SAP support was given? So uh, SAP provides a, um, a customer, I can't remember what they call it. I, I think the acronym is CEE, so Customer Experience Excellence or Customer Excellence Experience or something along those lines um, from day one uh, of your implementation. But what's really uh, cool about that is they stay on and stay with you um, throughout your life cycle as an S4 HANA Cloud customer. So um, basically, they are a coach for the implementation. 
they're not going to do it for you. They're not on site. They're, uh, they will uh, be there to help make sure you're planning it out correctly. They'll be there um, when you have uh, you run up against a uh, technical question. They what I found is um, our uh, uh, our coach really helped us um, by uh, letting us know about potential roadblocks before we hit them. So they're there on a coaching basis, generally one to two hours a week. Uh, type support, but they're not a part of the actual team. But again, once we went live, they've stayed with me every step of the way. And we've had questions about uh, um, other uh, other functionality coming out, or uh, when we went through our first um, uh, first upgrade from 1705 to 1708. David was kind enough to let us know uh, that the CE is customer engagement executive. Ah, jumped in. That's our. That's our uh, it's our audience helping us out. We appreciate it. Um, we had a, I guess it's a higher level question from Dale. Um, is there a particular size company that you consider uh, S4 HANA Cloud over S4 HANA on prem? Um, I, I don't by revenue really, or by employee. I'm not sure. You know, I'm not sure that I would say uh, that, that there is. I think you've got to look at, um, you know, technically speaking, you're you're in the cloud, so. Um, you're going to have the ability to ramp up or, or, or down as need be. I think you, you tend to need to look at other factors, um, I think, that would say go to cloud versus go to on-prem. Um, if you have a highly customized environment and you want to stay highly customized, um, you might want to look to stay on-prem or at least look at S4, uh, S4 HANA. Uh, in a uh, hosted or a private cloud type environment. Um, the public cloud uh, application is pre-configured with best practices. You cannot change those. You've got to accept those and you're adapting your business to the uh, pre-configured solution. Um, a lot of companies that have a highly customized environment today are actually moving to S4 HANA cloud, public cloud, uh, because they're saying, you know what, we've got all these customizations and we're spending more time keeping the lights on for how we process an account uh, receivable um, as opposed to really focusing on our core business. So I don't think it's about size. I think it's about how you're planning on using the tool and, and, and uh, what's the best fit for you. All right, great. Unless we have any other questions, I think we're going to – We'll wrap it up. Uh, I want to say thank you, uh, Michael Scholten, so much for the, uh, for, the, for the presentation and guiding people through the 14-day trial. Uh, and I want to thank everybody who, uh, who showed up. Um, as you exit, um, you'll see a comment section. We'd love to know what you thought uh, as far as um, uh, what you liked and actually what you'd like to know in the future. Uh, we do a series of, uh, of, of lectures and webinars from S4 HANA to S4 HANA Cloud to Solvan to uh, UX. We'll have another one on analytics coming up soon. Um, so anything you'd like to see in the future, uh, we would love to be able to share. Uh, and again, any comments uh, that you have, we would love to hear them. So once again, thank you, Michael, for, uh, for the presentation. And thank you so much, everybody, for joining us. Have a great weekend.